dipping into my favourite sections. It's the story of a butch lesbian woman and her many, many difficulties attempting to navigate a cold world that lacks understanding. On her journey, though, she meets enough kind people to make it worth the ride. Enough pockets of fleeting joy to make the overwhelming ache of life seem more bearable. It sounds depressing, and it should. Her life is not easy, but in these pages I found all the things I needed as a young butch lesbian woman. Love, pain, relationships, friendships, work, money, family, sex, healing, humanity, coldness, warmth, division, bonds stronger than life itself, all told through the eyes of a woman like me. Because the media gives you lesbians who are glamorous and pretty, but some of us don't want to be that. Some of us still crave the butch femme counterculture that Feinberg describes. Some of us still believe that somewhere it's still out there. Women who dress and love like men, but who are very much women and who are very much lesbians. And then women who dress and love like women, but who very much like their lovers to be a butch woman. The main pull of the book for me was the romance. The relationships between butch and femme lesbian women. The eroticism and the chemistry. When it's been present in my own life, I found this book affirming and friendly. When it's been absent in my life, the love or the drama or the romance or the chemistry, as it so often has been, this book has been a lifeline, reminding me that I exist, reminding me that my feelings are not completely solitary. Like sucking on a lemon, the book brings me back to life, gives me a hit, gives me something raw, punches me in the heart and says, I know you're in there. I know you're still beating. In writing Brixton Nights, I created a similar character to Feinberg's protagonist. Christina is a butch lesbian with an attraction to femme women. But that's not the whole story. Brixton Nights covers Christina's whole life, from childhood through to early adulthood. It is a gutsy, raw, powerful, gritty, beautiful story. Brixton Nights charts Christina's messy relationships, whether with family, friends or lovers. I wanted to tell the story of a butch lesbian whose life is difficult, but who, despite much adversity, sticks to the path she believes in. I have created a character you will both sympathise and empathise with, a character who is human and kind and passionate. The people around her are mostly good but make mistakes. Christina is mostly good but makes mistakes. This is life. Bricks and Knight steps between past and present in alternating chapters, deftly navigating the story in a way that interweaves the two storylines towards the book's resounding conclusion. Before writing Brixton Nights, I read a book that structured its plot in the same way, and I liked the way two storylines of the same character, past and present, can converge like this in alternating chapters. Brixton Nights contains flashes of intense lesbian eroticism, important to me because these were the scenes I need needed to read myself as a young lesbian woman. These were the people and the dynamics I needed to know existed. When I fantasised about beautiful, attractive, feminine women, I needed to know that other butch lesbian women were feeling the same as me. In Christina, I have created a character who both fulfills and evades this fantasy, who sometimes gets what she wants, but very often does not. Throughout Brixton Nights, Christina meets women whose lives are unexplainable in some way, or who don't quite fit society's expectations of them. Christina meets women who are broken, lonely, unusual. Mrs. Crabby and Christina's mum are just a couple of the many examples of peculiar, distant women in Brixton Nights. We are now, today, living through one of the darkest ages in women's rights and history. Christina notices the women that the world would choose to ignore, lifts them out of their loneliness and shows them to the world. In reading Brixton Nights, you will meet many women who you might otherwise ignore, whether deliberately or subconsciously. Society does not relish a woman on her own, so Brixton Nights provides a spotlight on such women. By the end of Brixton Nights, you will not know what has happened or will happen to many of these women. And so the mystery goes on. Bricks and Nights has reviewed exceptionally well in its pre-publication reviews, and I believe in the book and in the story and in the characters and in the message. I believe that this is a book with a long lifetime. I believe that this is a book with a deep and important message that will resonate for many years to come. When I am gone, Bricks and Nights and my two published poetry books are the kind of books I will be extremely proud to leave as my legacy. Thank you for listening, and should you buy it, I hope you very much enjoy Bricks and Nights as much as I have enjoyed creating it. Thank you. Okay.